This is the first standing PET scan to ever be designed for the um, equine patient. It was done in conjunction with UC Davis. We took their idea, and the Stronic Group and the Southern California Equine Foundation partnered with them in the development of the actual machine itself. And then the Jockey Grayson Foundation funded a grant to do the first 24 horses at no cost to the owner. The equine skeleton is a pretty remarkable design um, and it was designed in such a way for the horses to be able to run really really fast and cover a lot of ground. It would be like you running on one of your fingers but that gives them the ability to be very efficient when they do that and run very fast. So what PET scan does is it detects areas of bone turnover which we know from a lot of research that these are areas that are pre-existing injuries which are what we call microfractures. So it's very similar to the technology that we've been using for decades, nuclear scintigraphy or bone scan, but it just does it at a much more specific and sensitive level, and it also gives us the ability to see it in three dimensions. In this development, um, safety was the number one importance, and so what they did was they made this ring be able to go around the horse's leg, but with very gentle pressure, if the horse backs away from it, it just opens up and releases. And so there's no panic of being stuck in a cylinder trying to be imaged. So it was very important to take the same technology that was being done under general anesthesia and apply it to the standing horse. So we can essentially walk the horse over, image the area that we need to, and walk them back with no risk of injury. The standing MRI is technology that's been around for about 15 years and is the gold standard in human orthopedics when you're dealing with a bone stress injury. So we're very excited to have the standing MRI at Santa Anita and very similar to that of the PET scan, they can just walk over, be imaged and walk back to their stall and it, the process would take probably about an hour to maybe an hour and a half. So very quick, very effective and our ability to see um, injury at the very, very early stages so we can intervene much earlier. The knowledge that we gained from having these two imaging modalities at Santa Anita over the coming years is going to provide the foundation for um, protocols that are going to be set across the United States. And I would expect to see this technology spread towards the east um, in a tidal wave type fashion as more tracks learn what we're doing at Santa Anita and see the positive results that we're getting from these imaging modalities.